I'm Akrivi Vivian QC and I'm here with my colleague Aharala Bosipechidis. I'm a senior research and business development manager, head of transport lab at Intrasoft. And Babis is a delivery manager also at Intrasoft and coordinator of Mass for EU project. Here we're going to discuss certain elements and challenges of mass. For most people in the transport industry in the past five years, Mass was a term mentioned jovially in a discussion, and it was closely followed by a necessity to define what it means and what it will bring to the mobility system uh, of a city, region, or even a country. This is why we want to get you on board into this story of Mass for EU and tell you all about this experience from this particular project. I will give the roof to my colleague Babis now to dive you into the details. Babis. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this session. So, Mass for EU is a project that has run the last 41 months. We are coordinator at Intrasoft. Today, you see a scientific and technical coordinator and another 15 partners. We have worked on the Mass for EU project. In fact, during the project, we had also Mass Global, which after the first 18 months, stepped out and therefore told service to the project. Concerning the project, mass for eu has a vision to provide quantifiable evidence, frameworks and tools to enable the mass concept by addressing challenges under four pillars, which are business, end users, technology and policy. In mass for eu we had to uh, experience certain challenges Apart from uh, the challenges of the partners themselves and the readiness of them to participate and the actual live pilots, it was also a challenge to pick the right geographical areas in order to uh, drive the teams into these demonstrations. So the main demonstration areas in Mass for EU is the Greater Manchester area, the Greater Luxembourg and Budapest. There are different mass business models and products that have been tackled by this project. In the Greater Manchester area, we have seen the urban intercity trips scenario. We tested on B2C and B2B products, and we had scenario with locals and tourists. TFGM is the mass operator of this particular pilot. In the Greater Luxembourg area, we had the experience of cross-border and urban trips. We have B2C and B2B product scenario. Uh, we had uh, experiences with locals as a storytelling, and SLA is the mass operator. In the Budapest area, we also tested on urban and cross-border trips with B2C products uh, and the scenario, it was for locals and tourists. Mass Global was the initial uh, mass operator that was replaced by toll service provider. The mass for EU objectives were to design a prototype business models for cross-company mass enterprise involving multiple actors within the EU single actor, actor market. And why is that? Because we were all driven by research and business curiosity. And most of us participating in the project, we were very mobile. So we wanted to see what mass was all about, this very new concept, and were there any possibilities to bring together and work with different providers? from the public and the private areas. So this was one of the questions that we had to put in place and the experiments we did is to put service providers from the mobility and the private sector to discuss with transport authorities. Also, one of the main objectives was to explore the needs and preferences and the demand and acceptance of various end user groups. Finally, the aim of the team was to design and develop the open mass for eu platform. In addition, we wanted to support the travelers in selecting the mobility plans that were best for them, depending on their profile, and they fit best to their needs. And we wanted to do that by proposing the mass policy framework in order to be in the position to suggest ideas for policy recommendations. 
We also demonstrated and validated the efficiency of the holistic mass for EU solution in real life. Targeting to scale up and disseminating by utilizing interesting tools and social media for sharing the mass framework and the findings in order to contribute to the EU single market vision and the H 2020 agenda towards smart, green and integrated mobility. Key achievements and outcomes deriving from the team. Apart from registering the challenges uh, while running the actual pilots, uh, being in the position to also suggest several uh, uh, ideas for policy recommendations, we worked on mass business model specifications. We did participatory focus groups to derive user requirements. In-depth interviews were run to register the challenges at pilot and at EU level. Uh, deriving uh, from them very interesting uh, findings that they would be published in white papers. We also have conducted uh, uh, targeted market research. We prepared and uh, we launched the Mass for EU platform and app, and we did an appropriate validation and testing of it. The main issue though uh, was to register on the challenges side and the lessons learned. So we were establishing communication channels with MSP and that took quite of a time. Uh, we will look thoroughly on the issue of the need for specialized agreements with MSPs because the cooperation elements were very challenging. So there is a registered need for clear and specific business models and clear incentives for the side of the MSPs in order to protect their vested before they go into something new like mass. The agreements are necessary because there is a reluctance to devote resources with low return. And of course, they want to safeguard their financial side and profit. But not only that, they want to ensure that the service level is very good and who actually uh, should be the one to be blamed when there is a failure throughout the service pipeline. An important element to share with you is that uh, we discussed also about data sharing agreements between MOs and MSPs, which proved to be actually very critical. Customer data are part of the MSP's business intelligence and future development, and it's something that we should highlight as the outcome of these discussions. There is a registered value of co-creation among the MSPs who offer different services to create synergies. And we, can, we should highlight the importance of clear goals in alignment with the policy. There are several operators that do not have APIs needed to integrate to a mass platform. And this was one of the IT restrictions we have registered as a team. MSPs are reluctant to share access to APIs, even with these are available. There are payment systems and MSPs that wanted to be in control of this, and this is something we have seen in several locations, despite whether the technology existed, their transition towards mass. This is where also discussions took place about possibility for new regulation or changing the current regulation to adopt also ideas that have to do with mass. So we see also on top of that, that uh, the pilot app uh, issues that have been raised is that the payment was not an option for all models and there's still a limited integration of services into the app. Also, there is a need to engage early with technology and make participatory discussions with all stakeholders to create a type of ownership. And this is a basis for the rest of the solution. Also, there is a requirement for flexibility with regards to implementation of different operator services and a need for interoperability there because there was a difficulty to get on board uh, the data required for all the systems communications. So also the possibility to have a good quality of data is the second necessity we have registered. The benefits of mass are difficult to be processed by end users before they use a mass service and recruitment proved to be really difficult. Uh, 
because MAS is a brand new solution framework and idea. Information and explanation regarding what MAS is and the potential benefits are not well uh, digested by the different stakeholders yet. There's a lack of awareness there, and there are too many mobility apps creating confusion to the different users and stakeholders at stake. So mass is a promising concept when it is explained thoroughly as majority of the end users like the idea, but they need an extra knowledge on that. There is a difficulty in competing with pricing from existing mobility services. Why is that? Because there are initial fears of locked in to subscription services, and that has been expressed from a lot of users. Once they used the mass app and had experience, they proved to be very positive towards using such service in the future. And mostly this was stated by young professionals who don't own, they don't own a car, uh, which were the most popular user group to target. Most of those already own a car or a bike do not find a high value in the service. And this is a group, uh, a market niche we have to target at and utilize different triggering messages and luring campaigns in order to persuade them. So on the challenges and lessons learned, we have to state that we had a focus on passenger rights and liability. There was a lack of data availability, APIs, openness and sharing on the requirements side, unless there were special agreements on the floor of the discussion. Uh, there is a need, an extra need actually, on data sharing and interoperability. Uh, a special need to be considered uh, from regulation side is the possibility to resell tickets in several locations. So there is a target need for a clear regulation over the new modes to be introduced soon. Public authorities should act as bodies overseeing the transition to mass. That actually made most of the stakeholders um, uh, on their to feel on their comfort zone during the discussions. We need the ones interested in the mass implementation to help organizations to work together in order to deliver mass and tackle their needs and problems and challenges. And we should support it with open engagement, ensure that uh, funding reaches the right modes and supports uh, the integration throughout uh, the mass uh, different operators required in order for this particular framework to be active. Some important takeaways is that if a mass service and business model does not work in one area, it does not necessarily mean that it will not work in another area. Not one mass solution fits for all. Uh, mass has to be calibrated and customized according to the needs of each geographical area because it tackles also issue of behaviors, habits and culture. Mass is a general concept that can be adapted to the needs of any local or national and international content. Thank you so much for attending this particular presentation and feel free to visit our website and download the public deliverables. Very soon this project will release very important research papers deriving from research, surveys and targeted in-depth interviews. Thanks again. And also do not forget to pose your questions in the chat box. Thank you.